Hello? Not sure if I'm back yet. Alright. I think I'm back. Alright. Hello, welcome back. Just gonna wait a couple moments until we kick back. Hi everyone. I think my... <laughs> yeah, it's turning out pretty good, Laura. Although I still am weird on my arm, but I took Rula's advice and just stepped away and, and looked at it. But I was kicked off, so um, my internet connection went down. And my laptop feels so, so hot right now. <laughs> so I might have to get a new laptop soon, <laughs> potentially. It's like... Yeah, this, it's, it should not be this warm. It's like, it's way too warm. Um, yeah, so that's kind of strange. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll be back and into this. All right, good. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to continue on now that it looks like I have a, a, a more stable, I, I honestly don't know. Hoping it's a more stable connection, but uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Hi, Joe. Glad you're back. Hi. Humorous Chick. I love that adorable name. So cute. Good. I'm glad you can see me and everything's good. Okay. Perfect. So about 12 of you back. I think we had about 17 or so before. Four, but again, I don't know if it was being kind of funky. Oh, so glad you think so, Cheryl. Thank you so much. Okay, I think, I think we're gonna continue. Yes, I'm gonna have a sip of water actually before I continue. I feel like my head is hurting. I'm like stressing out with all this technology stuff going on. All right. Let us resume. Okay, so I still want to put a little bit more of a highlight around this, my, my pointy chin. My lady has a pointy chin. And a bit of a... Maybe that line is kind of weird there. Okay, I think I'm going to stop touching the body right now because I'm I'm digging it and I don't want to ruin it anymore. The live button is flashing. Is it supposed to? I have no idea, Joe. No idea. Oh, mine's flashing too. Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Hopefully it is fine. And you guys are good to go. Oh, now we're going back down to nine people. I'm wondering, like, is this not? Annoyed. <laughs> Which I would be, I'm annoyed too. Hey, Patty. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay. Continue. Okay, I'm going to go with my black. And I want to give a bit of an outline to the body and the hat. And I want to start building in some of the shadows of the hat. Good. Thank you so much, Christina. Okay. So it's obviously darker in here. So I'm going to start putting black on this area. 
I like black here too. I'm just going to outline this part of the hat as well. Okay, that looks very, very good. I like that. And again around the face, a little bit of darkness with the hat. Okay. It kind of comes out a little bit more in like the middle. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, that's working. Okay, cool. Do, 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 now we're gonna put a nice black line around this rim. Make sure this paint is nice and easy to use. I want to come across. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a little bit All right, so I think that is good for the black. Okay, 
and let's just clean off that brush. Lots of black on it. Okay. <laughs> just laughing at my woman's chin and <laughs> certain body proportions. I think she looks kind of funny. I'm going to put a little bit of white. Oh, you know, I maybe let's put more black there too, actually. Okay, a little bit of white. The hat as well. Cool. A little bit more black and play with it a little bit in here. That's better. I feel like we need a little bit more of that yellow in the hat. It's kind of popping. I think that's good. And then we need to put in all of these beautiful flowers. Not too shabby. Okay, I'm happy with it now. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Cheryl. Thanks for the coffee. I appreciate it. Um, okay, cool. Flowering hat. So, really, um, this hat has so this hat has some nice yellow. So again, it brings some of the yellow from the background to it. It has some like this kind of bluish, purplish color. And there's like simple flower shapes. So they're essentially like four petals. Um, they look like they could be like those black eyed Susans essentially like they have like a nice black center basically four three or four petals and it's a few different some of them are a little bit larger than others and then there's a little bit of this like feeling of like greenery like some of the leaves on the flowers as well so I think am I gonna stick with this one or I'm not sure I think I'm gonna stick with this one for now all right I'm going to get more of my blue on here. And I want to, what do I want to do with that? I want it a little bit more, I want it a little bit purpley. I'm going to put some red into it. It's not sure how much is going to stand out on here. Okay, I'm going to try this kind of shade, and then we might alter it as we go. Okay, so I'm going to put a flower, like, here. Play with the shape. I 
kind of this is the base for it, and then we're going to end up putting like a bit of a lighter color on the inside, and then we'll put the dot in the center. So it'll all come together. Okay, let's put another purple one here. Maybe this one will be here. I think I want to switch to a smaller brush. My petals get a little bit too big. Okay, this one will be good. At the inside a little bit later. Okay. All right, let's put some more purple flowers in. Make some smaller ones.
Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll do another one. Like. And I want to make that a little bit lighter. Yep. Pretty. It's gonna put like little lines in it. Okay, now yellow. Um, I think I need some more. Okay, let's get some yellow flowers. Same kind of idea, but some of them are kind of indifferent. Okay, and these ones I'm just doing in the yellow. Just pin that one and just behind that purple one. Normally, I would have done that the other way, but why not? Using this thin brush can make it easier to put things in behind if that's what we need to.
I'm gonna put in some like little leaves and stuff too. Still, so gotta keep that in mind. Okay, so um, with these ones. I'm just getting white and just kind of doing the same thing I did with the purple. I'm just using white paint on the yellow and the yellow paint's still a little bit wet. So the white paint is just mixing slightly into the yellow. So it's still a little bit lighter. It's okay if it stays white too. It's just just to give it a little bit. that I think that's good thank you and then we need our black center boom 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 oh that's not very boomy <laughs> that's a lot of white paint there that's why it's not sticking Gotta get more black on my brush. Okay, so now let's put in some green leaves of some sort. Now, let's see. Oh, there's also some like, mm, I don't know if I do that. Okay, no, let's just go with green leaves. Okay. I'm just gonna mix my blue and my green together. I'm blue and my green. Oh my goodness. My blue and my yellow together so I can get a green. Or if you have a pre-mixed green, that works too. But I'm just gonna use this. It's like this kind of minty weird green and we'll see if I like it okay so some leaves where are these going to live we have some here maybe two that comes this way and there's some here Okie dokes. 